Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rechak with Dash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations, much love and respect to you. I came out there pushing this word out in truth and sincerity. Now, this lesson is going to be about those that are ashamed of Yahweh Shai and his gospel. Okay? Um, and that's a lot of Israelites, uh, really. The majority of Israelites are ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai. They don't like the message. And those of them that believe in the message uh, but don't go out and teach, most of the time it's because they're ashamed of the gospel. Okay? Or some of them might teach, but they're, they're taking out certain things or they're, they're remixing certain things. For example, the great doctrine because they're ashamed of the judgment of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they don't want to see, have, see, be seen in a negative light to the public because the public frowned down upon that. Okay? And all that is is a, a law of what to do when th that particular thing happens, which it does happen and it's always happened. Okay? And guess what? It's always going to happen. Right? Not with the Israelites because after a certain period of time, we're, we're not going to need to do that in the kingdom. Okay? But. You know, amongst the heathen, that's going to happen. And we're going to have to be able to judge it. And the judgment for, for grape is not being put to death. Okay, the judgment is written in Deuteronomy, the 22nd chapter. Okay. But these people, these people are emotional and they're ashamed of Yahweh Shai and his gospel. So they'll remix it. All right. And let's see what Yahweh Shai said about being ashamed. Okay. They want to hide their identity. Certain people come on with different, you know, they be on the comment board for, 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 for 10 years. They've been on the comment board, never taking up the plow. You know, some people putting up scriptures. You're putting up scriptures. You understand the scriptures. So that means you should you should be able to go out and teach unless you're a, a paraplegic. Right. But because what? They don't want their co-workers to see see them. Which we had an individual say that. Oh, I don't want my co-workers to see me. Right. And he knows he's going off. He knows that he should be out there teaching. You see, and then he's catching all kind of hell in his life. I said, why do you think you're catching hell? Why do you think you're going through what you're going through? Because you're ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Let's get Mark, Mark 8 and verse um, 38. It says, uh, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in, in the glory of his father with the holy angels. All right. When did he come into his glory? After he was crucified, he was glorified, set on the right hand side of the heavenly father and every uh, angel and demon uh, worshipped him. OK, and they worship him to this day. So when he when he's up there and the, as he's up there in the heavens, he's supposed to be an advocate to the elect. Right. There's certain people. That he's advocating for those that were not ashamed of him nor his gospel that was out there preaching his word that was out there confessing his name in in, 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 in the sight of men. But the ones that he said are ashamed of him. Right. We need to be, uh, uh, you know, humiliated or humbled, you know, by by uh, by preaching his word. They're shy, they're timid. They don't want to go out there and push his word out there. Those guys, it says what he's going to be ashamed of them when it comes to his uh, when it comes to declaring them to his father or, or protesting for them. So when that time comes for, for them to, to, to be for Jerusalem to be defended, the elect, they're not going to be a part of that um, that defense. OK, they're going to be left out there to dry. This is Matthews 10, and I'm not trying to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that, man. I'd rather suffer suffer being ridiculed by the people for Yahweh Shai's name and for his word, which is right, by the way, which is which I know is the right way, okay, than to be um to be praised of men and to be and to be uh denounced by Yahweh Shai. This is Matthews ten and thirty two. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father, 
which is in heaven. And there's a lot of people that played both sides of the fence. Certain people you see on the comment boards, they're, they're, they're hypocrites. Okay, you'll see them on other people's comment board. Ah, FG and Messi, yeah, they're going off and this and that, this and that. But every week they'll be on they'll be on the Bishop Elder's um, comment board, trying to uh, show showing praise. So those are hypocrites. The, the Yahweh Shai sees you. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai sees you. I don't know who he thinks he's fooling. The Spirit even has it where brothers see them. So you know, and sometimes they get called out for it, or sometimes brothers won't say anything. But the reason they do that is because they're ashamed of this gospel, the 100% truth, the pure gospel. You see? See, some some people, they like, they hate, they hated Esau. They knew Esau was wicked in the world. They hated Esau. So when they came, so it was nothing for them to come into the truth or call Esau the devil. You know, they weren't ashamed of that. They were, you know, they were proud to do that, you know? Yeah, you're the devil and we're the chosen people. And that's right. And that's right. You know, dark skin is beautiful, and that's right. No, they, they they were they were they were cool with that part of the 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 truth, the sweet part. But when it came to the bitters, when it came to the things that were not so calmly in the sight of men, because you do know it's a law that um that you can sell your Hebrew your Hebrew daughter to another Hebrew uh, Israelite man. You you know that right? You know that's a part of the law, right? You know them Israelites ain't gonna bring that out. They're not going to speak about that. If someone asked them about that, oh, that's a, what does that have to do with salvation, brother? You know they're going to they're gonna change the topic or they're going to try to remix it. Because why? It's not world friendly. But that's part of the judgments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's get, let's get, let's get Sirach 42 and 1. This is Sirach 42 and 1. It says, of these things be not thou ashamed and accept no person to sin thereby. Of the law of the Most High. And a lot of these people are, are ashamed of the law of the Most High. And his covenant and of the of judgment to justify the ungodly. Meaning that you can't be ashamed to, let's say a, an ungodly person is getting judged for something but he didn't do it. Or or that judgment is, is too harsh according to the scriptures, according to the Most High. You got you have to in that case you can justify the ungodly. You can't be ashamed to speak up because what's right is right. Right? If someone robs somebody and you know that person is a is an unjust man, but he got robbed, the, the person has to pay that man back sevenfold according to the law. Or fourfold according to, according to the law. Nah, but he's ungodly, so F him. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Okay? All right. But the scriptures say, don't be ashamed of what? Of the law of the Most High and his covenant. And a lot of you, you Hebrew Israelites are ashamed of the law. They're, you're ashamed. And that's why a lot of you don't even wear um, those long garments because they're actually ashamed of those ancient customs. They wear the T-shirt garments because that's more world friendly. You just throw a little fringes at the end of a T-shirt. So you kind of you blend in with the world. You see what I'm saying? You're not fooling anyone. You're, you're surely not fooling Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He sees right through you. Okay, but they, they for some reason they think they're fooling Yahweh Shai. They think they they think they can they can fake the funk with Yahweh Shai, you know, and say enough. Uh, That's right. Bring it out, and, and, and the Most High is gonna accept you. No, 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 no. It doesn't work that way. Okay, it doesn't work that way. Let's get uh, Acts five. This is Acts five. In verse 41, matter of fact, I'll start at verse 30, 38. It says, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Right? Because this is um, this is Gamaliel uh, speaking up for the uh, for the the apostles, you know, because, you know, they were being persecuted for their belief in Yahweh Shai. They were being persecuted. They were being uh, uh ridiculed and really people wanted to put them to death okay matter of fact i'm gonna start at 33 it says when they heard that they were cut to the heart and took counsel to slay them then stood there up one in in the council a pharisee named gamaliel a doctor of the law uh, had in reputation among all the people and commanded to put the apostles forth a little space and said unto them ye men of israel 
take heed to yourselves what ye intend to do as touching these men. For before these days rose up Thutis, boasting himself uh, to be to be somebody, to whom a number of men, about 400, joined themselves, who, who were slain, and all as many as obeyed him were scattered and brought to naught. After this man rose up Judas of Galilee in the days of the taxing and drew away much people after him, he also perished and all even as many as obeyed him were dispersed. And the reason they were they were riot is the reason why there was so much revolts against uh, Rome was because of uh, uh, the excessive taxes. Just like today, they, they, they're, they're charging you for everything. They might not call it a tax. Oh, it's the, this charge, this charge. Oh, we got to charge for this, charge for license, charge for registration, charge for... These are all taxes, okay? They're not calling it taxes, but these are all taxes, all right? And they're excessive. They're finding any reason to continue to tax you and to increase the taxes. And this is what's sucking the people dry of resources, see? And then the, and the Romans were famous for that, for, for really bringing that in. The Persians weren't doing that. The Persian Empire, they weren't doing that, right? The... Uh, the, the Babylonians, they weren't doing that. The Egyptians, they weren't doing that. Okay? You see? I believe in the time of the of the Persians, the tax was like 1%. And he wasn't taxing his own people. It was like 1%. Okay? And it wasn't for every single thing. You know? It was tribute. It was a small tribute. Now, Esau, he's trying to bring it in with the, R, uh, the RFI to the DC hip. He's trying to make it where, man, you really, you absolutely have no chance of gathering anything to yourself. That's why uh, Klaus Schwab said, what, you will own nothing and be happy. But anyways, this is why there were so much revolts. But that was not by through the spirit of the Most High because the Most High was said, said this man had to come into power he had to reign up until the point where Yahweh Shai comes back and takes him down and now I say unto you refrain from these men and let them alone for if this counsel of or, or this work be of men it will come to naught but if it be of the most high he cannot ye cannot overthrow it lest happily ye be found to fight against the most high and to him they agreed and when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai. It's not the name of Jesus. There was no name of Jesus. That doesn't exist. See, Vocab's talking about he's trying to bring the Hebrew Israelites back to Jesus. Well, if you're if you're such a scholar, you should know that's not his name. You should know that for sure, without a doubt, that Jesus is not his name. The, the letter J, the, the sound J was not in the Hebrew. You already know that's not his name. So, what's up with that? He's an agent of Satan, first and foremost. But we know he has other handlers. Okay? See? So, it says, They com commanded that, that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shai and let them go. And they departed from the presence of the council, rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name whose name the name of Yahweh Shai and daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai Hamashiach they didn't stop preaching they didn't stop preaching they didn't stop going hard for the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai why because because those were um that was a that was the key to salvation man you had to go through Yahweh Shai you can't go through Yahweh Shai any other way you can't go through Yahweh any other way but through Yahweh Shai. Let's get this real quick. This is John 14. And I'll start to at verse uh, 5. It says, Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we go know the way? Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So we have to glorify the name of Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. Okay? We have to pray through Yahweh Shai to, to, to pray to the Father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. 
that's it, okay? That's it. So that's 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 why they didn't want them to preach in the name of Yahweh Shai. They didn't understand. They thought it was heresy. They thought it was false doctrine. But deep down, they knew what they were saying was true. Okay? You know, um, this is uh, Romans 1 in verse 16. It says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach. For it is the power of the Most High unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. This is meaning to the to the Israelites that knew they were Israelites, that were raised as Israelites, a.k.a. the circumcision, and the Israelites that fell off and were following after other customs, uh, a.k.a. the uncircumcision. Not the Israelites are going to be saved and then the Greek people. Because the Lord likes the Greek people. No, it, absolutely not this is speaking about you know how foul greek culture was man you know how foul it was how wicked and evil it was man they, 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 they had something called pediasty right where they would deal with the men would deal with young boys that was a foul wicked evil culture it had nothing to do with the, the, the greeks themselves that as in the edomite greeks this had to do with the israelites that were following after the greek way going back to um Antiochus Epiphanes, which forced Israel to follow after after the, uh, the Greek customs, man. You see? For therein is the righteousness of the Most High revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So it's the Israelites that had the faith in Yahweh Shai that were going to be delivered. That's it. All right? So if you're ashamed of this gospel, man, the Lord is going to be ashamed of you. So you could keep playing games and, and straddling the fence, and we'll see. When all hell breaks loose, it's not going to take much for all hell to break loose. When all hell breaks loose, we're going to see what, what the end of you will be, man. Because I, I guarantee, man, I guarantee it, those ones that, that were not out there, they're not going to have confidence. They're not going to have, their faith is going to be weak when they knew they were supposed to be out there and they weren't out there. Their faith is going to be very, very weak in that day. With that, I'll say Shalom.